All right, and we're back again. Here we go. We're just banging these videos out today with these simple graphics card teardowns. Um, we are going to do, this time, an EVGA 550Ti. Nothing really special about it, unfortunately. So, before we get started, I'm going to move all these to the side. 5mm hex nut, um, hex nut bit, regular Phillips, small Phillips, pair of tweezers for the uh, fan connector, and we just set that off to the side. I don't know why I even had that in there. So there's a couple things we need to remove. Um, well, actually, there's only four things technically. So you've got these four, these four screws, and they're spring-loaded. So you do want to open these up. I believe this is a uh, a die and not an IHS GPU. So you want to open up in a cross slash diagonal pattern. Open one each up slowly as you go. And um, before we get into it, right here is your fan connector. Just so you know where it is when we open this thing up. In case you're following along. So we will just do this. I am actually excited to do my next haul video because I got a lot of GPUs that I have wanted for quite some time and I have some stories behind some of them. It's sort of funny. I cannot wait to do the video on them. How are you guys doing? Are you doing fine? You doing great? Good to hear. I would sure hope so. You never know in this day and age. You guys ready for Halloween? I'm I'm getting I'm ready for Halloween. I'm ready for a little like just something to make me not think about the world for a bit. Because I do think about it quite often. And I do think about my videos quite often. But I do have things in my life that require my assistance. Oh, these aren't spring loaded. Oh, it's one of those it looked like they were spring loaded on the bottom. It isn't a spring loaded system. It's one of those flimsy uh, back plate that has these little rubber pads that push against the PCB. I personally don't like these. I like the spring loaded system better because this can break or something can happen to it and then you don't have a mounting system basically. So, um, I'm not sure if these are important but when you take this apart, there are these little plastic, come on, these little plastic things uh, that go between the screws and these holes. So I would put those aside somewhere where you're not going to lose them and just put them back afterward. I don't think they affect anything because these look like these are grounded around. So that's not going to hurt anything if the screws do make contact with this, but I could always be wrong. I'm not the one who built the GPU. So you should just be able to lift off this now. But we're going to flip this over when we lift it off so we can take our tweezers. Let me put this over here. I'm very out of frame. And we're going to go to our video fan connector. And we're just going to we're gonna get a good grip and we're just going to wiggle. And there you go. And I'm just making sure of something. Yeah, okay. So you just take the tweezers, put them like this basically, put them like this, and sort of just wiggle. You don't yank, because if you yank and then you end up grinding these against your PCB, your, your GPU is likely going to be dead. And you don't want that. Nobody likes a dead GPU. Oh, that's weird. Huh. I've never seen this on a GPU before. All this here is thermal paste. It's like these GPUs before were sort of 
put together and they had their own pre-applied thermal paste. That's interesting. Uh, this will be replaced after the video because I've I've not replaced this in a very long time. So other otherwise besides that, um, of course, you have your uh, little bracket that you can take off. But you do need, in order to take that bracket off, you do need to take off this screw right here. Just so, just so you know. Somebody's backing out. So we will do that. We'll take that screw out, we'll set it to the side, and we'll take our five millimeter and take all these off because I do it every single time even though there's no point to it. And I'm sure I tick somebody off, but hey, I never, I never said I didn't like ticking people off. I live my life not caring about what other people think. If you don't like the way I do things, please go do them yourself. Because, God forbid, I do anything I want. So that's done. We'll, well, well, that's done. We'll set the PCB aside. We'll take all this. We'll just this aside. And in order to take the fan off this, uh, or not the fan, sorry. In order to take the cooler off the shroud, you need to do these four screws. I'm not going to do them. I purposely don't find the point in taking off a heat sink from a cooler unless it is overly complicated. I'm just going to show you how. You just take out those four screws, and they do go into these little notches here in the... Uh, in the heat sink, so remember that for when you put them back together. Uh, as for the fan, the fan is regularly, just like any other one, it's screwed into the heat sink via these screws. You can see them all. There's four of them. There's three of them, sorry, three of them. That's pretty typical for these older uh, UVGA GPs. Um, but otherwise, that's it. Uh, that was the simple teardown of 550Ti. I make these so people know what they're getting into if they're new to computers or taking part of graphics card for any reason. And there's plenty of graphics cards out there to do videos on. So, uh, anyways, uh, don't forget to like, favorite, comment, like, favorite, comment, like, comment, subscribe, ding dong the bell, yada, yada, yada. I don't care. I do this for fun. So, I will see you in the next one in a couple minutes. Bye-bye.